Hello and welcome to another update video about Q&T, Quant, um, Quant in my opinion still here in the temporary downtrend. We are still in this descending wedge that you can see in white. Um, in the last video I made you aware here of the, um, I made a, a slight change to the wave count here of the wave down that gives us a clearer perspective here where I think we're heading down here further um, and so far we're adhering very nicely to it. So. Um, you know, there, there's no change. <laughs> there's no change, but I still get a lot of requests for these uh, for these coins, even if the, the charts are not moving at all. I mean, we still see this, um, and I talked about that as well. Yeah, you still see some kind of a um, a head and shoulders pattern, and I need to change the color of that trend line. So we've got be we've got three patterns here on the chart. Yeah, so that overloads the chart a little bit, but I still want to show them because they are relevant. So let me take these out. Keep it a bit uh, simpler here. Some of these out, okay. But we have a head and shoulders. So we've got this, yeah, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. That certainly suggests a dip down. So a break below the 100, and you could say the $100 level, yeah? Or maybe even a bit before that, $104 would indicate that we're heading down and following this this pattern to the downside. So that's one, one point why I'm not yet very bullish on. I am overall, yeah, overall, let's call it bullish on Q&T because I think we are still here in a pattern. I don't like that term anyway. You know, it always sounds like you, you definitely know it's going up. No, we don't. You know, this this pattern, which is currently a, a five wave move up and a three wave move down pattern we explore, that's basically a one, two setup. So a, a potentially interesting trade setup for a long trade in a wave three. But this will become unreliable if we drop below the 78.6% um, retrace at $81, or even let's call it $80, yeah? So if we drop below that level, it will become very unlikely. So I haven't re-entered any long position here because I'm, I'm still, for me, this is still all too choppy. I don't think we have entered a, um, we've entered the uptrend yet. So I won't probably, I won't probably enter until I see a five wave move up and a three wave move down. Yeah, because if I was jumping onto any green candle here, I would have bought this, I would have bought this, and we're basically back to that level again. Uh, I mean, if you want to trade the range, you can do that, surely, but I would say a lot of people get faked out here. Um, so we are, we are, yeah, so a few things. Now with this head and shoulders, we actually have another pattern. <laughs> so what we also have a triangle. Usually you could call that a consolidation trend continuation pattern. Then we've got this descending broadening wedge. <laughs> so again, we've got th this one is actually a bullish pattern. You could call it a bullish pattern because that if eventually these wedges would normally break to the upside. But again, uh, we've got a mixture here of trend continuation, bearish, and bullish patterns. So what do we do? Um, all we have to do, all we have to do is either to wait for a breakout, yeah, uh, because as long as you don't have a breakout, the pattern is still ongoing. Um, for a real trend reversal, I want to see at least five waves up and three waves down. And as soon as I see that, I will make you aware. Uh, until then, my view remains that I think we will still follow the wave count here in a five wave move down. One, two, three, four, five. And don't be surprised if you see movements up and down. I think after my last video, we were at um, 104 dollars. I said my view still stands. We go down to first of all to 100 dollars, and then probably will break down lower in this scenario where in this third wave down here we should get to around $90, ideally, ideally, yeah. Um, but then we saw a move up to 112. But yeah, you know, this is sort of just intraday volatility, isn't it? Uh, we're in the crypto market, but this doesn't change any trend. We're still making lower highs. And also here, oops, we made a, basically we, we came down here. Um, well, okay, we had the spike afterwards, but since then we have retraced so much that it's just not, not reliable that this would be a first signal to the upside. Um, yeah, and as long as we stay below this descending trend line as well, my focus will remain on the downside here until I see a clear five wave structure up three waves down, um, or until we have, you know, we really come to the end of this structure down and then see a small reversal pattern. That would be another signal. Um, but at the moment, this is just too choppy and don't be surprised it's choppy because in this wave five down in this five wave move. We expect choppiness because this is a corrective. Well, it is a, an ending diagonal most likely, and that is just choppy. You have a lot of up and down, and I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't become too bullish on any small green candles that we see here until we have a clear signal. And if I see one, I will certainly make you aware. So for me, the trend is still down, and I still expect lower prices, 
even though it's uh, a long and draining consolidation we've been in here. But um, as soon as this trend line breaks down there, you know, this head and shoulders, I think we are heading for lower and then have the next support at this um, descending trend line here. Okay, and that's my update about Q&T. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.